Hey friends, my name is C and you're watching Game Mr. So Easy. And welcome back to a new video for A level mathematics and today. We have 4.2 for the roots of quality equation for the questions video. And we'll get started with the first question. But before anything to it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification button to miss out on any future videos. And we'll get started into the first question. So we have alpha, beta, gamma, and delta are the roots of the quality equation 2x to the power 4 plus 4x cubed minus 3x squared minus x plus 2 equals 0. Find the values of this, these three different expressions. So I'll split into three different columns so that it's easy, easier to, um, to answer them. So the first part is alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta, right? And this can be simplified into the sum of the roots, sum of alpha. And from the last video, we know that this is equal to minus b over a where a and b means the coefficient for the original expression, uh, equ equation. So in this case, uh, b is equal to 4, right? So just 4, and a is equal to 2, right? So f it's equal to minus 4 over 2, and simplifying it gets us equals minus 2. Oops, minus 2, like so. And part b, alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus alpha delta, plus beta gamma plus, plus beta delta plus gamma delta and this can be simplified into the sum of the product pairs or like it's the pairs of the roots and this can be written as the sum of alpha beta and this equals c over a and from the original equation we can see that c is minus 3 so it's minus 3 and a is 2 so 2 so therefore this just becomes minus 3 over 2 like so and for the part C, alpha beta gamma plus alpha beta delta plus alpha delta uh, gamma delta plus beta gamma delta, and this is equal to the sum of the pro, uh, of the triples of the roots, which can be rewritten as alpha uh, the sum of alpha beta gamma, and this has an expression of minus d over a. And from the equation, we can know that this is a b c d. D is equal to minus one, so minus of minus one over a is two. So therefore, it's just equal to a half, 1 over 2, it's 1 over 2, like so. So part D, we have uh, more questions. So part D is just alpha, beta, gamma, delta. So alpha, beta, gamma, delta, it can't be simplified further because it's basically just the product of all the roots, which is equal to um, the expression E over A. And E in this case is A, B, C, D, E. E is 2. And a in this case is also 2 because this is a and therefore 2 over 2 just gives us 1 so therefore this equals 1 and part e 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta plus 1 over uh, gamma plus 1 over delta so here we have a hint already but I'll just talk through it so what we need to do is that we have to just uh, multiply everything uh, the denominator and the numerator Oops by let's for, for this we have to multiply it by beta gamma and delta because we have to make all the, the denominator the same right so the denominator has to be alpha beta gamma delta so therefore to get to do that we have to multiply the first one by beta gamma delta so beta gamma delta oops beta gamma delta and the second one by alpha gamma delta the third one by alpha beta Delta, uh, delta, fourth one by alpha, beta, gamma, all over alpha, beta, gamma, delta, right? So this basically just gets us a sum of alpha, beta, gamma over alpha, beta, gamma, delta. So from we know just now the sum of alpha, beta, gamma is basically just this one right here, which is equal to 1 over 2. So it's 1 over 2, oops, 1 over 2 over we know that um, this alpha, beta, gamma, delta is equal to this, which is just 1. So equal to 1. Therefore, this just equals to 1 over 2, like so. And for the next question, the quartic equation x to the power of 4 minus 16 x cubed plus 86 x squared minus 176 x plus 105 is equal to 0 has roots alpha, alpha plus k, alpha plus 2k, and alpha plus 3k for some real constant k solve the equation so we can first consider the, the sum of the roots just the sum of each individual root 
So it will just be alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta plus beta plus gamma plus delta. So this alpha is not to be confused with the alpha in the equation. So perhaps I'll label it as alpha 1 to, so that you don't get confused with the alpha in the equation. So this gets us um, alpha, uh, up, we know that alpha, alpha 1 is equal to alpha, and let's call beta equals to alpha plus k. We know that this whole thing is equal to minus b over a, and therefore the sum of all these roots is equal to, just count how many alphas there are, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So it's 4 alpha, plus count how many k's there are, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so plus 6k equals to minus b over a. Min uh, b is minus 16 and a is 1. Therefore, this equals to minus minus 16 or 1. Simplifying it gets us 2 alpha plus 3k equals 8, like so. So we can just now, re we can now rearrange uh, to get alpha the subject, which we'll look into y in a minute. So alpha equals 8 minus 3k over 2, which we can simplify it to get 3 uh, 4 minus 3 over 2k. So that's the first part. So now we can consider the sum of uh, the pairs of the roots. So let me just write it here. So we can now consider sum of alpha beta. And we know that this equals to alpha beta plus, plus alpha gamma plus alpha delta plus beta, um, plus beta gamma plus beta delta plus gamma delta, right? So, and this whole thing equals to C over A. So C over A like so. So what we can do now is that we can basically just expand this whole bracket, which is quite tedious and quite, um, it's a long process. So I'll just speed things up. So it'll be alpha times alpha plus K plus alpha times alpha plus 2K plus alpha times alpha plus 3K plus um, going into this one right here, it will be beta, which is uh, alpha plus k, times gamma, which is alpha plus 2k, plus beta, plus uh, times by delta, beta, uh, alpha plus two, uh, 3k, plus alpha plus 2k, times alpha plus 3k, and this whole thing equals to c over a, so this is a, b, c, so this whole thing equals to 86, so 86 equals this, so simplifying it gets us 86 equals 2, and let me just see if I have my answers anywhere. And we, I have this answer where this is equal to 6 alpha delta, sorry, 6 alpha squared plus 18 alpha k plus 11 k squared. So you get this expression, expression right here if you were to expand the whole bracket. And there's no choice but to expand it. Because in this topic of roots of polynomials, we're dealing with a lot of different variables or constants. So now we have this expression. We know that we found alpha from the from the from the from the start, where alpha equals four minus three uh, three over two k. So therefore, we can substitute alpha equals uh, alpha equals four minus three over two k. So it will get us eighty six equals six four minus three over two k squared plus 18, 4 minus 3 over 2, k, k, plus 11, k squared. And we can now just basically simplify the whole thing. And I'll wrap this top out in one second right now. So I'll just wrap this out. So feel free to go back if you need some more time to digest this whole part. So like so. So we can now just um, simplify this whole part. And I have my answers and my working here already. And this is equal to 96 minus 7, uh, 72k plus 27 over, two, uh, over 2k squared plus 72k minus 27k squared. Oops, I have no space. Um, plus 11k squared equals 86. And we can notice that the, um, the k's cancel out. Like so, it's 72k and 72k. And we can notice that we can move from 96 to, to this side right here to get minus 10 on this side. So therefore, this gets us uh, minus 5 over 2k squared equals minus 10. 
and solving it gets us k squared equals 4 and therefore k equals plus or minus 2 2 right so now we know that k can be 2 or k could be minus 2 so just do, do these two cases but, but, they, but, but they both uh, yield the same roots so it doesn't really matter so k equals 2 or k equals minus 2 find the corresponding alpha value when k equals 2 alpha equals 4 minus 2 over 2 times by 2 which is equal to 1 oops alpha equals 1 and when k equals minus 2 it will be alpha equals 7 right so now we just have to find the roots by just substituting in all the equations uh, sorry all the values so when let's just choose the top one right here right so the roots are alpha which is 1 1 plus 2 3 1 plus 2 times 3 which is six, uh, 5 uh, sorry, one, well, 1 plus 2 times 2, not 1 plus, not 1 plus 2 times 3. So 1 plus 2 times 2 is 5, and 1 plus 3 times 2 is 7. So we can do this, as, we can use this as well. It will just be alpha equals 7, and alpha plus k is 7 minus 2, which is 5. And this is alpha plus 2k, which is um, 7 minus 4, which is uh, 3. And this gets the same value. So therefore, the roots are, let me just... Uh, write it up here because there's more space here therefore the roots the roots are 1 3 5 and 7 and that's the final answer and moving on to the last question we have the quarter equation to the power 4 minus 334x cubed plus 202x squared plus dx plus e equals 0 has root alpha alpha plus 1 2 alpha plus 1 and 3 alpha plus 1. Part A, find alpha. So to find alpha, we can consider the sum of um, the sum of roots. So the sum of roots is just the sum of alpha. And let's call this alpha 1 for the, um, the general root. So the sum of alpha will be equal to a alpha plus beta plus gamma oops, plus delta equals minus b over a. We can count how many alphas there are. It will be 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7. So there'll be 7 alpha plus how many ones or how many the numbers? So it'll be 1, 1, and 1. So there are 3. So it's 7 alpha plus 3 equals minus b over a. So now I'll find minus b over a. So b is minus 34 and a is 2. So it'll be minus minus 34 over 2, which gets us 17. So therefore, 7 alpha equals 14. And therefore, aqua, uh, alpha, not aqua. Alpha equals 2, like so. In part B, find the values of D and E. So it's first helpful to find out what the roots are, because we already have what alpha is. So the roots are basically equal to alpha, which is 2. Uh, two alpha plus 1, 3. 2 alpha plus 1, which is 2 times 2, 4, plus 1, 5. And 3 alpha plus 1, which is 3 times 2, 6, plus 1, 7. So the roots are 2, 3, 5, 7. So to find out D is basically the sum of the triples of the roots, right? So to find out D, it will be the sum of the triples of the roots, which is equal to alpha, beta, gamma, plus alpha, uh, alpha, beta, gamma, plus alpha, gamma, delta, plus alpha, beta, delta, plus beta, gamma, delta, right? Let me just write it all out. So it will be alpha, oops, alpha, beta, gamma, plus alpha beta delta is, is the same way in the same way anyway so alpha gamma gamma delta plus um, beta gamma delta right so just basically we know that this equals to minus b over a c minus d over a so minus d over a and we can basically substitute the values once we can set this as alpha one beta gamma or delta or honestly the any way round because it all yields the same result and after substituting we get this whole expression equals to 247 equals minus d over a so d in this case is just d so minus d over a will be like so sorry a will be 2 because we know a is 2 therefore to find d we just multiply both sides by 247 and add and times by minus 1 this gets us d equals minus 494, like so. And to find out e, e is basically the sum of the roots 
alpha 1 beta gamma delta and this is equal to e over a right so after doing uh, we can just find the sum of the root which is basically 2 times 3 which is uh, basically 2 times 3 times 5 times 7 so 2 times 3 is 6 and 6 times 5 is uh, 30 and 30 times 7 is 210 so it'll be 210 equals e which is what you're trying to find and a is 2 Therefore, multiply both sides by 2 to get us E equals 420. And that's the final answer. And that's it for this question's video for 4.3 for the root of a quartic equation. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and green the notification button to understand any future videos. And if you have any questions or any comments regarding my channel or my YouTube or my Instagram, you can leave them down below and I'll reply to them. Check my social media in the description for example LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram and if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources you can check my website in the description or you can type it out in your browser at www.emaceeasy.com And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful and I'll see you all in the next video which will be 4.4 for the topic of roots of polynomials which will be fun and interesting But anyways I hope you'll find it useful and helpful and I'll see you all in the next video Until then, stay safe and happy learning.